Okay, so before we get into other things, let's look at how to set up a splash screen for our application. So setting up a splash screen for iOS apps is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go to the Solution Explorer and I'm going to click on the Launch Screen Storyboard. So this is more like a storyboard dedicated for the startup screen. So any design that we make on this storyboard is what our app will use to display to the user when the app is about to start up. All right. So what I need to do will be to go ahead and add an image view because we just want to use one single image as a splash screen. So I'm going to go to the toolbox. I'm going to drag this image view to the view controller. Now the next thing I need to do will be to expand the image view to cover the entire screen. All right. Now we need to go to the properties and go to the layout. So I want to do the auto layout in such a way that the image view will always cover the entire screen, no matter the screen size that we are running the application on. All right. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and import the image that we want to use as a splash screen. So I'm very hopeful that you've already downloaded the image resource that we are using in the application. So you can easily find the cover image in that particular folder. So I'm going to go ahead and import my own cover image. So we are going to add the image in the resource folder. Here in the resource folder, I'm going to go ahead and right click and go to add files. Now we need to navigate to where we save the file so that we can import it. Okay, so this is the image I'm referring to. So I'm going to go ahead and select this image. All right, so I successfully imported the image. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go to the properties of this image view and we're going to use the image that we just imported as the image. So to ensure that this fits in on all screen sizes, I'm going to go ahead and change the content mode from aspect fit to aspect view, right? So this will ensure that the image will always fit in on any screen size. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and run our app. So as you can see, setting up a splash screen is very straightforward. So let's go ahead and test this on our simulator so that we can see it in action. Okay, so we had some errors. So the best way to resolve this particular error is by closing all your storyboard files. So I'm going to go ahead and close this storyboard file. But before I do that, I need to ensure that I've successfully saved all the necessary changes that I've made to my application. So as you can see, all the changes has already been saved. So I'm going to go ahead and close this storyboard and close this storyboard as well. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and reopen this storyboard. Right. Now let's go ahead and try to run the app. Okay, so we are still having some of the issues. So like I already explained in the beginning of the course, that this is some of the issues that you might experience with Visual Studio 2019 while working on an iOS project. So I guess it's a bug that will be fixed eventually. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the default color. Right. So once the color changes, you can see that it affects all other view controllers that you have. So what this ultimately means is that this error has now been fixed. So we can now go ahead and run our app. As you can see, the build was successful. So I think the app started rather too fast. So I'm going to go ahead and run it on a different simulator. And we need to pay attention as the app is starting so that we can be able to see the splash screen we just added to our app. Right, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so let's pay attention so that we'll be able to see the splash screen as it starts. Okay, so see our splash screen and bam. Alright guys, so that's exactly how to go about adding a launch screen to our application. So you can go ahead and customize yours you know, to really suit your need. So guys, this will be all for now. See you in the next class.